the visible world is full of emotional vibes the relationship dramas ulterior motives and because of this one gets easily influenced and carried away by the ongoing onslaught of this opinionated and judgmental world it is a huge onslaught of one's psyche this actually damages a person not to go into one's center the immunity from all these societal vibes can happen when you are extremely committed and rooted to your hara this ultimate key i have been repeatedly telling that what you call as inner world the greatest adventure is staying connected with one's center because every time mind pulls you out to the psychological horizons as far as away from one's center even in the societal world the greatest adventure is stalking people there is no greater adventure than stalking people why because people have different traits and tendencies different psychological software by meeting observing interacting with different types of people we try to know more about ourselves we try to erase our own traits which are unrewarding we laugh at ourselves that is the reason why one should meet as many people as possible one gains wisdom it is not a social wisdom but a spiritual wisdom and when we see these two worlds the inner and outer worlds as separate entities we try to balance them actually balancing is not a good act we need to bridge it when we bridge it they become one what is apparently different will become visibly similar there will not be any dissimilarities between these two worlds because both these worlds are ad- making an adventure adventure within adventure without so how to stop the dramas of the world there are different types of dramas always authority to figure a aloof figure you know the very different character called aloof figures these characters are typically described by james redfield the wonderful enlightened person he he describes a word called aloof this fellow whatever you ask poke him prod him he will not respond he is absolutely a reticent guy a taciturn verbally taciturn an expressive the reason is the more you prod him the more you poke him he gains energy the more attention you give to him more energetic he becomes when you leave him when you don't give any attention to him he becomes more and more and more aloof he will not give way different characters i have already described the intimidators interrogators and victims the best way of dealing all these people is strip them expose them 
show their face to themselves strip their personalities the outer masks stop giving your energy first when you find aloof person don't give attention don't poke him leave him when you meet a interrogator or intimidator who always threatens you dominates you don't give energy don't argue never argue at the same time arguing again gives them more energy because they are masters of that never give energy by way of not arguing at all when you meet a victim don't sympathize don't sympathize answer their questions not solve their problems can you make a difference answer their questions do not solve their problems in that way you can be away from dramas first and people who are already making dramas because of their upbringing brought ups and traits we can expose them their own traits and make them get connected to themselves for everything you need to be rooted in your hara there is a must you may oscillate here and there on and off but still understand the importance of staying at the meridian stay stay there rooted always commit commit for yourself lifetime commitment is required thank you